Eric, was it a case of just sort of having to claw back too much, or were there specifics that you saw sort of game game wide throughout the game that are a concern? No, I thought the competitive disposition was certainly uh, higher uh, tonight. Um, you know, there were a lot of probably five or six important skirmishes during the course of the game. Uh, you know, we won a couple of them, but every time we won, uh, you know. Uh, those swing moments, they came back and um, were able to get, you know, some separation, either a seven point or 10 point lead. Uh, and then, you know, that just became uh, a little bit too much uh, separation on that last skirmish, uh, you know, at the end. Um, you know, this was much different than, than game one. We were way more active, way more of a disposition. Uh, I think this. This game and disposition that we brought tonight probably would have won game one. Um, but that's the way it goes. We have to continue, uh, uh, you know, to work at it and get, get better. Um, you know, I think we forced a lot more turnovers. I think this is back-to-back, -back, you know, games. Uh, I think in Chicago, uh, fourth quarter, we, we held them to 20 points tonight, 22. Um, that just has to be a lot more consistent. You're not going to do that every quarter, obviously, against very good teams, but you get a couple quarters like that, uh, sustain it, be a little bit more consistent uh, with it. Uh, you know, that certainly would uh, put us in a better position. What did you see? Possible. Possible. Plus minus usually doesn't tell much of anything, but plus 20 with Bam, minus 27 without him. That When he got his fourth, he had the tech, too. I mean, did, that, did you feel like that took the wind out of the sails a little bit? No. Um, I mean, him getting his fourth foul certainly did. I think the first foul, the, which I didn't think was a foul, like those things add up, and then he ended up missing some minutes in the first, the first half. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, you know, him getting the... the Tech, I, I don't. I think that was kind of inc inconsequential. It was more the play uh, that got us into the hole uh, and that that swing moment. But uh, yeah, him being in foul trouble, um, you know, I think two of the calls were tough calls. Um, but we overcame, you know, a, a lot of different uh, circumstances th uh, throughout the course of, of the game and. Uh, you know, our pressure, our activity, the deflections, forcing turnovers was, was much much better than in game one. And, uh, you know, we weren't able to, to get over the hump and get the job done, but we just have to stay the course. We, there's definitely improvement from game one to game two. We're not looking for moral victories or anything like that, but we're looking for progress, ultimately, uh, hopefully, to, to lead to wins. And, um, you know, that's what we'll, we'll focus on for, for tomorrow night. It's only been two games, but the three-point attempts have been down these first. So, have you seen anything that's kind of contributed to that, or is it just a case of small? No, not necessarily. I, I think uh, you know, in the, in the last game, the turnovers had a lot to do with it. I think this game, uh, more schematics. You know, the way Boston defends, there's not going to be a ton of them uh, open. Uh, it's a big strength of ours, but you have to do whatever you have to do against really good teams. Um, and I think. Uh, you know, there was some swing moments also uh, where uh, we were defending at a high level, and then more importantly, it wasn't necessarily about the three balls, more importantly about quality shots. And and there was uh, some moments in the game, you know, where we got it to four and we didn't get the ball where it needed to go, and then all of a sudden you look up and it's ten points. You mentioned those those four fouls for Bam. Those, those stretch to the end of the first and third quarter is really where the game got separated. Beyond him just not being on the court, what changed there in terms of what Boston was doing or what you weren't doing that spun things in their direction? Yeah, I mean, they went to um, a little bit of a hybrid lineup. Then um, they put their, you know, either guards or wing players uh, on on Deadman, and, and that kind of blew up some triggers. Uh, you know, we're, we're – used to that playing against them um and we weren't quite as intentional offensively during those moments uh and and you pay for it the, you know you, you the margin for error against really good teams like how we feel we are and certainly boston is as well uh that uh, if you're not intentional all the way through uh 
you know that that can that can be costly and and it might not be a, a 15 to 3 run it might just be a, a 7 to 1 run or something like that and um, I think that happened you know probably two or three times uh, during the course of the game zero free throws for Jimmy Butler tonight was it a matter of shot selection or just an unfriendly whistle in terms of not being able to get the line un- un- there's you know a couple that we feel that could have been fouls I'm sure they feel the same way uh, that's just kind of the way it went you know tonight and they they did a great job of of protecting the paint and and uh and trying to uh you know defend things uh two on two or versus their switches and and stuff like that you mentioned boston schematics kind of taking away the threes and it led to kind of what looked like a postseason shot diet at times did you like how the guys their approach to the shots that were available and did you like those the shots that you got um for the most part, yes. Uh, but again, when you're facing a good defensive team, you know you have to be able to generate, you know, whatever you, you generate. As long as you're getting the ball where it needs to go, that's the most important thing. Uh, and then your shot profile will be what it is. Uh, you trust your your guys, uh, you know, to take the right shots and to make the right reads versus the coverages. Um, Again, you know, uh, against uh, a team like Boston, uh, you're not probably not going to score 140. Um, you know, so those those swing possessions, you know, are, are extremely important. Getting the ball where it needs to go, uh, and I think, you know, there was a handful of possessions, uh, you know, in each of those quarters at the end of the quarters that uh, we weren't quite as intentional as we could be could have been. Thank you, coach. Okay, thank you. Locker is open. Tier one players in here would be Jimmy and Matt.